Hi friends, today I'm going to upgrade the storage capacity for my gaming PC with another 500 GB internal SSD. And guys, today I have with me Kingston solid state drive, which is a A2000 series. And friends, this is an internal solid state drive which supports the PCIe slot on your motherboard. Here I'm using Gigabyte motherboard which is X470 Arrows Gaming 7 Wi-Fi. It has got two PCIe slots for your SSD. One I'm already using for Samsung 970 Evo Plus and another slot left for this Kingston A2000 series. So let's see how the SSD card Kingston A2000 series performs when you compare with the Samsung 970 EVO Plus. Both are 500 GB cards and uh, let's do the quick installation and do the comparison video and check what is the read and write speed on this. And friends, here you can see the price comparison with Samsung 970 EVO Plus. On the Amazon official web page, it is quoted 10,741 rupees, approximately $140. And if you want to go with the Kingston A2000 series, both are 500 GB capacity cards, you will be getting for 7,300 rupees, which is approximately, which is approximately $95. And if you see the difference, almost uh, $45 between these two cards. So let's quickly go ahead and install the card on the PC motherboard and check the write and read speed. I think here I have to remove the Evermedia capture card which is already installed on my motherboard. So I'll take out this uh, capture card then I'll try to install the PCIe. So like I said earlier in my video, this motherboard X470 GB which has uh, two PCIe slots for SSD cards. So one I'm already using for Samsung 970 EVO Plus which is right behind my graphic card which I'm unable to access right now. So let's go ahead and install this Kingston A2000 series SSD on the second slot which is available. So quickly I'll open this and finish the installation. So requesting all my viewers guys please subscribe as I live and press the bell icon to get the notifications on time. So here I'm done with the installation process. Let's quickly go ahead and see the uh, data transfer and speed comparison between these two cards. And friends, this is a 500 GB SSD, but unfortunately we get the usage space only 465 GB. So here I'm using C drive for the boot partition and also uh, D and E drives are completely empty. And friends here, if you can see the partition area, E drive is for the Kingston SSD, which I have recently installed. So out of 500 GB, I'm getting only 465 GB usage space. And C drive I have kept for the boot partition and uh, D drive I have another 150 GB free space. So here I'm selecting the uh, Evomedia Live Gamer folder which is a 5.45 GB capacity. So let's go ahead and paste it in both uh, Samsung SSD and Kingston SSD and see the difference in copying the file. Samsung claims that 970 EVO Plus can read and write speeds up to 3500 to 3300 MB per second and Kingston says it can read and write speeds up to 2000 MB per second. Trust me guys, I don't see any difference between these two SSDs. Both files copied, started and finished at the same time. But if you see the pricing here, it's almost 3,500 rupees difference in both this SSD. So I would prefer saving some bucks and going for Kingston SSD instead of Samsung 970 EVO Plus. And friends, this is your Kingston SSD manager where you can register your card and get the warranty in future if required. And also you can check the health and performance of your SSD. And friends, here you can see the Windows 10 boot and shutdown time if you compare Kingston E2000 card with some other uh, cards available in the market. And friends, here you can see the game loading time for Metro Exodus when compared with Samsung, Intel, WD, Western Digital, Crucial and other cards. And here the comparison for the 7GB copy file, write and read time with the different cards. Friends, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed the video and once again requesting all you guys to please subscribe to the channel as live and press the bell icon. So I'll come back with another interesting video. Till then, take care. Bye.